Hi everybody, welcome to another episode of Two Hands in a Radio. What in the world do we have in front of us today? Oh, we have... This is a first for me. I have not looked at any sea crane products. Just because my personal opinion is they're way overpriced. They may be good, but I just can't part with that almighty dollar. Anyway. So it's our very first look at something. It's the Sea Crane CC Radio SW. Comes from eBay. Hang on to your to your undershorts. Twenty-five dollars. Why twenty-five dollars? Because the antenna was broke. And I said, you know, world, broken antennas aren't all bad on this radio. The part that was broken with the telescopic antenna up here, which could be replaced. But I know that there's a whole bunch of other ways to connect antennas. Takes a, a PAL connector, whatever that stands for. I am sure people will jump up and tell me exactly what that acronym stands for. PAL -A connector. I've got it going down to split off into the, the sloper antennas attached. I've got a little counterpoise out there. People think it needs to have a counterpoise. And here we are. And it actually doesn't work too bad. I'm not wickedly impressed, but it's okay. It's 11 and 3 8 inches wide. Looks a lot like the Grundig S350, 350 DL, 450 DLX, that model of stuff. 11 and 3 8 inches wide, 7 and a quarter inches tall, 2 and a quarter inches thick. On the very top, let's get the top out of the way. We have a light button and a snooze button. The light you're not going to see here. And it gives us all the, the, the band stuff, typical AM, FM. Short wave is broken down into three bands, uh, 1711 to 10,010, uh, 9.990 to 20,000, we'll call it. And shortwave three is 19,990 to 29,999. Might as well call it 30. And here it is. Well, there's my notes. Gosh, I can get rid of my notes now because we're just going to fiddle. Got a good size speaker, good audio. Is it better than the Grundig S350? Well, I don't know. It's not all bad. We have a AM RF gain, we're going to leave that at max. We have a treble bass knob. Up here we have a very simple AM wide and narrow filter. FM mono, or we could click it to stereo. I believe the directions recommend leave it in mono unless you go with the headphones, wherever the headphones are at, and then put it in stereo. We have our AM select shortwave band selector here, AM, shortwave one, two, and three. We have a volume knob, tuning wheel, blah, blah, blah. We have dial speed, hold slow and fast. Very simple. Power button up here. We do have a dual clock. That clock's not right. Lock button can lock out all the magic stuff so you don't mess with it. Did I mention we're going to have fun with this? Anyway. A lot of stuff over here is just all, from here up is all clock stuff. I absolutely don't care about a clock. I have enough clocks in my life. We can pick our shortwave band with this and also put stuff in memory if we choose. Reset button is there. Twin coil ferrite, 50, 50 memories. Can you imagine what would I do with 50 memories? I can't even manage my own one memory. Uh, key light. On or off? I don't know what it does. But no, I think uh, these will illuminate, and you can turn those to be on or off, and they don't illuminate very well, but it's there. Uh, AM sensitivity, distance or local. Wow, a shortened word, and I actually guessed at the right one this time. Distant or local, we'll leave it at distant. Uh, FM shortwave antenna. Let's go external since our internal's broken off. I really don't care about the FM. We can take it and put it over there. <sighs> oh, might as well. People will get upset if we don't. And we'll start there. Quickly, we'll zip through some FM stuff. 
<coughs> as I hit the cough button, here we go. <coughs> and it also, I believe it has a sleep timer. Yeah, 90 to, you can cycle it down to one minute or just on all the time. We'll leave it on all the time. We're going to start at 88.7, which is my go-to go to station. Of course, it doesn't get it. Barely, I can kind of hear it, sort of, but not really. Huh. Oh, yeah, well. I wonder if it would do better. Probably wouldn't do better on shortwave, because we're plugged into the FM end of it. Tuning wheel. Tune's nice. Let's go fast. Like I said, let's try to go faster. And FM is suffering just because of that. I want to see if that changes. It does. So that's labeled as FM, but that sucks, and you put it in your shortwave piece, and it works better. Now let's go back. Who would have thought? I would not have thought. Good Lord, that's as fast as it goes. There's my benchmark station. Love that station. Okay, so now I feel better. Took a look at everything and said, okay, here are the areas. Yeah. Get loud. Government has to cut. They have to spend less. That's plenty loud. I don't want to hover around the music too much. There's Indianapolis. Does just fine on FM. Nobody cares. Let's go AM. Let's start out at start out at wide may change our plan here narrow may be a little better that was wlw that was up there wherever there is reality is who knows what we're doing there's our local station Let's go for 1390. That's another good. Does really good. Really, really good. Which is why I bought this. Because I knew broken antenna would scare a lot of people off, and it didn't scare me. So. And it probably needs to be cleaned, I'm sure, and all that good stuff. Let's just roll through the shortwave quickly. And see what's there. Just get some kind of idea. Well, that slope for antenna, it should do fairly well, even though it's daytime. Oh, one o'clock or so. South Central Indiana. Everybody's got to know all those little pertinents that somehow make a difference. Should start to liven up here shortly. I know I'm going way too fast, but I also try to keep it under a 30-minute video, too. Where do I go on... Well, I go all the way up to 10. Okay. And you can see it is continuous. You, know, you just roll right along through. Not much. Of course, this is, I don't know what year this even came out. This is, this is one of those old, if the antenna's broke, it's been abused. And I don't know, you know, a newer example might operate a lot better. This just seems a little, 
I don't know. It, it, it's nothing that really blows me away. Let's just see if it gets 10 megahertz. I don't think it got five. We kind of rolled through in that. Almost there. There you go. Okay. So it does pretty good. Of course, it takes off right where it left off, really, which is nice. We'll roll on up here and just see what we can do quickly. You can also hit the hold button. You've got fast, slow, and hold. You hit hold and it'll lock this wheel to where it won't change. Kind of nice. Let's just go wide just to see if that helps. We can try wide or narrow. And it's all, you know, it's all just what you want to take time to do. And I can't do everything. And, and there's people, oh, well, you should have done this or you should have done that. I can't do it all. And I can't think like everybody else. And, and I'm just giving you an overview of a radio. And unfortunately, you have to make up your mind if you want one or not. And you don't have to tell me you don't want one. Or you don't have to tell me how bad it is or how you would never buy one no matter what. I'm not trying to sell you a radio. Yeah, if we go chunky. I don't know which sounds better, wide or narrow. Go wide and just give it a chance. Well, that's not bad. Anything above 10 megahertz in the daytime, below 10 megahertz at night. I've just listened to some ball games on it like that. I haven't really done a lot with this. I've had it for quite a while. It's been a long winter. And we should go up to, oh, two goes all the way up to 20. No direct entry keypad, so you're, you're stuck there. You can jump through the shortwave bands if you want. I see it almost, to me, it stops a little bit. If you spin the knob too fast, it kind of stops. and It's just not 100% all there. But it's doing pretty good. Doing pretty good for a broke antenna, huh? <laughs> I like it. And you can also put just a bare wire back there. Really interesting stuff. Now we'll get into amateur radio stuff to about 14,350. And you know where I'm headed next. I just want to see if... And you definitely can't speed up with this thing. Even though I'm supposed to be going fast. And there's 15. Just right there. Man, this is... Strong, strong, strong. See, that switch needs a little help, I think. Wide and narrow. Let's see what the band can do. If I hit shortwave band, take me a little closer to 20. A sense of irritation with the apparent political and I have a sense of irritation too sometimes. Yeah, I don't think there's anything there. Don't mind me for rolling so fast. I just uh, I watch the clock on these too. That's the other thing. I if I wanted to make a two or three or four hour video, maybe I could guess at everything that people want. But instead, I opt for just the fast overview. 20, okay. And then we go to, it does beep when you hit, 
when you hit either end it beeps that's kind of nice uh, like me just slightly can't see too well I don't know if visually impaired is an offensive word now or not I have no idea um, can't see too well you can sit here in a dark room and just listen to the beep oh I'm at the end and end of band beep I think is what it's called maybe or something like that probably not going to get much up through here at all maybe some CB chatter possibly matter of fact let's just do a jump here are getting cold oh yeah 26.9 well, we had something there for a second There's another. So, yeah, you can listen to CB stuff. There's another. Kind of nifty. That's always fun to listen to on occasion. That's about the end of it from there. Roll on up, and that's about it. Huh, not a bad little radio. Kind of impressive on the, the medium wave. Impressive on the FM. It's got a good audio with it. Short wave's not bad at all. You put get you a long piece of wire out there and let it rip. And uh, overall, not a bad radio. Would I pay whatever it was, 129 or 100? No, they've got a they have a refurbished one for 129, I think. So this, I believe this, when it was brand new, was probably 150 maybe, 149.95, whatever we call that. Uh, would I pay that much for this? Nah, I wouldn't, but you know, who am I? Um, it's okay, it's a good radio. Anyway, I just wanted to share that with everybody. My first look at Sea Crane stuff, probably not the last either. Um, Check out Totterbert's station. Station. His station. Check out his channel. Uh, Totterbert has, does, uh, he's got all the sea crane stuff and he tears it all apart and looks at it and not really tears it apart, but he dissects all the intricacies of the, the stuff and does uh, really good reviews of these. And, and uh, so if you're interested in sea crane stuff, take a look at his channel. That's all I got today, really. Just a neat little program radio, something to listen to. And, uh, yeah, if you like the video, give it a thumbs up. If you don't, I don't care. Uh, I don't expect anybody to like it. That's why I say I don't care. I don't expect a single person to like this stuff. I don't see how any of you do. I don't even like me. No. <laughs> but I make myself laugh, though. Anyway, make sure you leave your civil comments down below. Uh, there's also a section down under the description box down here uh, where you can donate through PayPal. All that money just turns around and buys more radios like this. And uh, I can't think of anything else. I always stall and say, hmm, what else? What else? Oh, we did. Did we go on this side? We have... I don't think we covered, oh my, we've got more details. Let's pop this off. See, this is why I stalled, because I may have missed something. We have dual power on this. It can run on AA batteries, and I cannot tell how these go in. It's got four D batteries. Uh, three positive go to the right, the top one, the positive goes to the left. The double A, I honestly cannot tell which way they go, and I apologize, but that's why I give the battery orientation.
because people like me can't see. Anyway, whatever I just said, I was just talking out of my head. On the left-hand side, we have the switch for AA or D batteries, DC adapter, and we also have a stereo line out. How cool is that? I skipped all that part. I didn't want to twist the radio around a lot with the antenna hooked up, so that's why I probably skipped all that. Over on the right-hand side, we skipped some more stuff. I don't know. We talked about all that. I'm going to quit while I'm ahead. Everybody's seen it. Not a bad radio. Hope you have a great weekend. Hopefully, I will become less confused. Maybe it's Alzheimer's setting in. I don't know. It's either Alzheimer's or Ebola. I don't know which. Maybe the plague. Have a great weekend. We'll see you at the next review.